Next up on the window menu, we have the actions. And here we go. Notice in here we have a whole lot of our window menu stuff. There's info, navigator, history, histogram, color, and actions right there. Lots of stuff. Now inside the actions, we have a lot of little things that will run a series of steps on a picture. I'm just going to get rid of this one when let's close that window down and I'm going to dock this one again quickly here. Let's just tile that and then we'll consolidate into our tab. There we go. Makes it a little cleaner to use. So on these actions we can have different things. We can have our, our bottom borders, our lose weight, and our special effects and resize and crop. Each one of these has a folder you can open it up and see what's inside of the folder here. There we go. There's resize and crop and special effects. Let's look at our special effects faded ink with vignette. If you click on this little down arrow, you can see everything that's involved in that faded ink and vignette. So there's a whole lot of steps in here that it goes through to run that faded ink with vignette. And it does all those in a sequence. Now to do this, once you click on that, notice there's a little play button right here. We have a play and we have a stop button as well. And a trash, you can delete something out of here if you want to. Click on the play button. And then when I do this, it's going to go through all those steps at once. Okay, it's going to be working now. And once it finishes, we'll have a faded ink with vignette look on this particular image. And depending upon the image, it may take a, just a little bit of time to go through and do all these steps. And there we go. There is that final effect. See, it's done a lot of stuff for us. What it did was it changed the or adjusted the canvas size relative there. It created a selection. There we go. It created a stroke that it used. It copy merge, did a delete of a current layer, paste it in the layer, change the canvas size again, adjusted the levels, adjusted the lens correction, which is where I got that vignette from. So it went through a lot of steps. Notice that it, it also gave us this as a new layer. It didn't damage the original layer. It just gave us a new layer. So there's that new effected layer right there. Now on these actions, you can't make new actions in here. You can't record new actions, but you can load actions from other locations if you have any other actions that you can bring into the program if you find them someplace else. Let's do just a couple more of these things in here. That was one of our special effects. Let's take a look at this bottom border. Let's add a one inch white bottom border. There we go. Notice it's added space on all of these. It's not actually white. It's just giving us a clear section, but it's giving us space down below. If, you know, it's useful if you want to put in maybe a title or something down there little lose weight thing, 2%, 4% thinner, or you can do a resize and crop. Let's double check our size, image and image size. Right now we're about at uh, 8 by 7. See, it, it gave us an additional inch down there, so we're 8 by 7 approximately. So let's come down to a 5 by 7 and, or do a 4 by 6 and center crop. And you see what it does, it goes through several steps in here to do that. Hit the play button and it goes through and does all those and gives us a four by six inch and it centered the image at the same time. So there you go, that's what the actions are. Just kind of fast steps. So take a look through these and see if there's anything in here which you think might be useful for you. And then this will save you a bit of time.